Recently, I discovered life on Mars. Sadly, I can't make a video about it yet. That's because of December. I'm personally really confused about December. I think it would be way more logical to call it December instead of December. It just feels more logical in my opinion. But instead of making a video about life that I discovered on the planet Mars, I made this video, which is about the Virgin Mary, which you probably already knew because you clicked on it and you saw the title. How to be the Virgin Mary. Step 1. Don't have sex with Joseph. Step 2. Get visited by the angel Gabriel, preferably in the month of June. Step 3. Be blessed among the women. Step 4. Go to Bethlehem and sleep in the nativity scene. Step 5. Be the Holy Mother of God. And Step 6. Keep these things and ponder them in your heart. Sadly, this has only been achieved once, and nobody managed to do all these six things after the original Mary. However, I found an alternative method of becoming the Virgin Mary. I discovered this method by reading the Bible. You see, with this method, you can't become the Virgin Mary exactly, but you can become the Virgin Mary approximately. Like the Virgin Mary, we do can have Jesus growing inside of us. How to receive the bread of life. Step 1. Want it. If you want it, and if you are prepared to take it, God will give it to you. And, and that's it. If you want it, God will be giving you the bread of life inside of you. And Jesus is the bread of life. So you'll have Jesus growing inside of you. Uh, that's, that's what I personally believe, at least. Most Christian denominations say that a special kind of work is actually required before God is able to give the bread of life to you. Namely, the very difficult work known to us in our culture as faith. But I think that God will give Jesus the bread of life to everybody. Because I don't think the definition people tend to give to the word faith, as used in the Bible, is correct. But I might explain what I believe about that later on. But anyhow, let's read what the Bible says about the bread of life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate manna and died. But whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Now the word dia in Greek, that is translated as because of, it can also be translated as by or even as through. And some translations actually translated it like that. But most don't, of course. Uh, next week I'll be discussing uh, the same topic again. Uh, goodbye, have you?